All right. Um, hello, teacher. Here we are with our classmates because we are going to be explaining like uh, the poetic devices about Paradise Lost uh, poem by John Milton, okay? So the first one that we could find in the poem was dramatic irony. And the dramatic irony is also present in various parts throughout Paradise Lost. For example, like when Satan decided to set up like his own hierarchy, he hopes that once it is accomplished, he will no longer have to be under the authority of God. Uh, while it is evident to the reader that God created everything. For example, hell included, Satan is obvious to his truth, right? Uh, this uh, builds up the dramatic irony as the knowledge of the reader is contradictory to the belief of Satan. Uh, consequently, the use of dramatic irony uh, anticipates the reader as the truth uh, to be revealed to him, right? The second one, it is uh, the metaphor. And Milton frequently employs metaphor comparing or using the comparison that doesn't use the word like or as. For example, right here we have a spot, a grain, okay? Um, he is comparing like the, the earth, the earth with, with a spot and a grain and, and, uh -huh, and a grain with an atom. While Raphael calls heaven to the book of God and God the great architect. And the other one, the number three, um, it says that Milton also incorporates much alienation, alliteration, I mean, into his poem. Liquid Lapse is an example of uh, alliteration. Milton also writes that Eve went forth among her fruits and flowers. For example, right here we have like... Um, like uh, an alliteration when when um, Milton also writes the if, for example, here, right? That if went forth among her fruits and flower, if you can see at the beginning of some of these words, he's repeating the F sound at the start of the words. For example, in the words, forth, fruits and flowers. So these are the ones that I was going to explain. And now uh, Carla is going to, to continue explaining the other ones. Uh, the part, the part of old, well, here, the author used some words that are written in order to dedicate with the form of the following the idea. Like, for example, when it said, uh, an important never to be killed, and what else not to be overcome. Well, here it's saying that uh, in men first disobedience, uh, was for the truth of loss of the dance. So it also brings, oh, so, sorry, brought that the glory never shows its wrath or my story from, from me. So basically, the, the author is, uh, you know, like highlights that, um, that man never has the courage to, to, to find. For the, you know, the, for, for that situation. Then in the, uh, so the, the author here in this part, he also uh, read, uh, wrote some words, written together 
to combine them, also to follow the idea, like, for example, when he said, uh, they have been uh, eat for quite a while, when I say, if God have anything you like, it will be a chance, a chance if they didn't. So here the author used these words uh, sound similar but to different meanings, you know. So also he wants to to you know to to show the idea that um, well for example when he said twice in a while uh, he's using some similar sounds like uh, to well, mm -hmm. the idea. And then when he used this device of repetition, he's also using some kind of words like all and then first disobedience and the fruit of that for the issue. So finally here the author he 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 don't let you know any any love any doubt, for instance, uh, that the result of this uh, man for disobedience was uh, a, you know, the, a big result. That uh, it brought with that consequence for the for the, the loss of paradise and also the death into the world. So this is my presentation. All right, thank you, Carla. Uh, I'm going to continue with this too. Uh, this is like the poetic devices. The, both of them are connected by each other, okay? This is rhythm and meter because they are kind of similar. For example, in the, in the Paradise Lost poem, uh, um, this this poem is written entirely in an iambic pentameter okay five beats in every line and the beats uh land on every other syllable so a beat um can be the uh, like shied either for word or backward under certain condition below like right here i have marked like the beats of the opening sentence in bold and indicated parts that contain a display beat in hydraulic, in hydraulic letter. And it is important to realize that some words can be either expand, contract, or glitter together to fit the meter. Okay, for example, he, we have of man's first disobedience and fruits. Okay, that uh, the other one is, um, that forbidden tree, like the mortal test. If you can like listen, like the 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 force of the words, okay. And yeah, the, I think that's that's everything. And Nancy is going to explain the the last ones. Hello, I'm going to continue with the rhyme. He goes on was the invasion of the barbarous age to set of breaches matter and lay matter. Some of Milton contemporaries use it pretty well. He admit, but he still find that they do. So, because they are carried away by costume, but much to their own vexation hindrance and constrain to express many things otherwise. And for the most part worse than else that they would have expressed them. Mm, the next is Sonnet. Sonnet um, 19 is one of the uh, is not the most famous sonnet. The Milton painted, it's um, also Noah's. When I consider how my light is, 
and spin for the first line of the poem the sonnet believed to have been written before um, 16 and 64 after the poet young Milton has gone completely completely blind the line follow the paratrash rhyme scheme and also make use of yambrics yambrics i think um pentamatter matter the sonnet is on exploration of dilemma faces by john milton as he was forced to come to terror with his blindness milton has um, to deal with the impossibility of continuing his works he is enabled um continue as the has been and he asked and received an answer from God to his inner um, query. Take a look at this line for the poem. Um, okay, when I consider how my light is spent, eerie half my day in this dark world and wide. And that's one talent which is death to hide. Lush with my useless, throw my soul more bent. This is my participation in this presentation. All right. Um, this was our presentation. As we can see, John Milton, right, uh, uses a lot of poetic devices and some of them are really marked in this poem and some of them some of them don't right but yeah we we could like uh choose the main ones and the ones that we have studied as well so we work together we are three members Esther Alejandra Zelaya, Carla Maria Quintanilla de Mendez and Nancy Veronica Guevara Escobar and thank you so much.